In this video, we will be taking a look at how the drive system with steering assist on the 200 series snowblowers from Husqvarna actually works. This is a look at the uh, dash on a 200 series snowblower from Husqvarna. This is what the operator sees. This is where all the controls are at. The main controls we're going to look at here are the knob to the right, which is your speed selector and directional selector for forward and reverse and what speed in each of those you're going to be going. We will also be looking at the lever on your left, which engages the drive system itself. And then underneath both of those handlebars on either side, you will see two um, trigger type grips. These are for the steering assist. There's one on either side. And we'll get into how that works and what happens when you squeeze those. These snowblowers have what is called a friction disc drive system. Um, they start out with a, a belt running off of a pulley on the crankshaft that goes down and spins an even bigger pulley that the friction disc rides against and, and uh, powers, which you'll see here in a little bit. The way this system activates is the lever on the left side of your operator station up there. When you squeeze it, the plate that the large pulley is mounted to rotates rearward towards the friction disc and makes contact with the friction disc and sends everything into motion. Of course, this will all be much easier to see once we flip the snowblower up and remove the lower cover and expose the drive system. This is a look inside the drive housing on the snowblower. You can see the V-belt going around the bottom of the big aluminum pulley there. You can see the rubber friction disc right in the middle of it. What will happen is when you go to change your speeds or the directions, that friction disc will slide on its shaft either inward or outward on that pulley. And that changes the ratio between the, the friction disc and that pulley, which increases or lowers your speed and changes the direction. We'll show you a video of how that works here in just a little bit. But this is basically the parts that um, make this whole system work underneath inside the housing. As you can see here in this video, as the speed and direction selector on the dashboard is moved, it moves the friction disc inward and outward on that aluminum pulley. This is where you get your different speeds from. The further out on that pulley that friction disc goes, the faster the entire drive system of the snowblower is going to spin. When it goes all the way over towards the right, that's going to be sp sending everything spinning in a different direction. That's where you get your reverse from. On a simple friction disc drive system in a snowblower, you would have your, your plate or the, the aluminum pulley in this case, which would make your friction disc spin, and every, all of these other shafts would spin then once that friction disc starts spinning. This snowblower drive system has the steering assist feature. This system consists of the two planetary gears, on either side or either end of the shaft that the friction disc rides on. And above those two planetary gears, you'll see two arms. Those two arms um, are where the cables coming down from the trigger mechanisms up at the operator station attach to. And we'll give you a look here at how this all works together. What happens here is the friction disc is being spun and at either end of that shaft the friction disc is on is two planetary gears. Those are held by the arms above them. When the triggers are squeezed, it lifts one of those arms, which allows the entire planetary gear to spin, which in turn allows the wheel on that side to freewheel. And since it has no power, the opposite side wheel is the dominant side and just pushes the snowblower in that direction. Pretty simple, right? Well, we'll give you a little bit better view here in just a second. But this is the basics of how it works. Here's a look at how everything inside the drive case on this snowblower works. You can see the video in the bottom middle there. That's what the snowblower is actually doing. And then you can see how the gears work and how everything works together. Um, you can see the arms lifting up and freeing up the planetary gears. That releases the wheel on that side, which gives you your steering assist by letting the wheel on the other side overpower the non-powered wheel. So this has been a quick look at how the drive system on a 200 series snowblower from Husqvarna works with the steering assist. Something that most of you may have figured out already if you own one of these snowblowers, but if you um, are new to these machines, um, when you go to move one of these and the engine is not running, 
squeeze those levers for the steering assist. It frees up those planetary gears, makes these things freewheel a lot easier. You're not trying to spin everything in the gear case in when you're moving it around. So just a little tip there for anybody that has one that hasn't figured that out yet. We hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two from this and got to see some stuff that you didn't know about inside these machines. Please take the time to, you know, leave a few comments, some kind of a feedback. Um, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We got plenty more stuff in the works. Thanks for watching.